like being dyslexic. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I'm gonna be late. Oh, no. At school, Tom sits at the back. Copy down tonight's homework. It seems to take me twice as long to copy it down. Everyone finished? Right, turn to page 73. Everyone else has, but I haven't finished yet. If I say anything, I'll look stupid. He said 73, not 37. Why don't you listen? John, read from the top of the page. Oh, no. I'm no good at reading out loud. I'm too slow and it doesn't come out right. God, sir. I've got a sore throat. Oh, not again. Later that evening, Tom spends all night doing homework that is only meant to take 30 minutes. No, oh, that's not how you spell. It's so easy, even I can do it. Hey, get out of my room. Tom is left-handed, which makes him smudge the wet ink. The words are in my head, but I can't seem to get them into writing. <laughs> Next morning, Tom pretends he's ill. Get up, Tom, you're late. I've brought up your porridge. Oh, I don't feel very well. You can only stay home if you have a temperature. Tom sticks a thermometer in the hot porridge. Girl, you silly boy! This could have exploded in your mouth and poisoned you! Now get to school! Yikes! At school, Mr. Cheesewell is not impressed with Tom's homework. What do you call this, you lazy boy? I spent ages on that. What's the point? Today it was Mr. Cheesewell's spelling test. Spell, blah, 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 blah. Tom copied from his friend. Everyone had to read out their scores. Eighteen? Out of twenty. Nineteen out of twenty. Twenty out of twenty. <laughs> Zero out of twenty. <gasps> I couldn't even copy and get it right. Later, Tom is caught fighting. You're suspended! Stupid! Tom's mum meets a friend for coffee. She is a teacher. I am so worried about him. He can't seem to remember anything. He forgets his books and he's so disorganised. Tom is very unhappy. Has Tom been tested for dyslexia? Tom's mum goes to see Mr. Teaswell. Could Tom be dyslexic? Tom's doing okay. He's just a bit lazy. Most boys are at his age, but he'll catch up. Don't label him as dyslexic. I don't want Tom to think there's something wrong with him. One year later, Tom has made no improvement. His confidence is at rock bottom. You are going to be tested for dyslexia. <clears throat> I hate tests. What is wrong with me? On the day of the test. Hi. I'm Dr. Simon Collegist, but you can call me Cy. We're going to do some puzzles, arrange some blocks, and do a few quizzes. That doesn't sound too bad. One hour later. Can you find the next matching picture? I think I'm quite good at this. Two hours later. We finished. Would you like to come in, Tom's mum? I'm tired. But I enjoyed that. Tom has a specific learning difficulty. What's that? Just another name for dyslexia. It's called that because every dyslexic is different. Everyone has things they are good and bad at. <laughs> what is wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with your brain. You just use it differently. That is why school is so hard. You just need to be taught by using your learning strengths. Some dyslexics are good at art. Others are good at design, technology, sport, 
or drama. Perhaps you haven't found out what you're good at yet. Some of the cleverest people in the world have been dyslexic. Leonardo da Vinci, inventor, artist. Albert Einstein, famous scientist. B equals M C squared. Dyslexia is passed on through families. DCDC2 is a dyslexia gene. Can you think of anyone in your family who might be dyslexic? Dyslexics have bigger brains. Forty percent of self-made millionaires are dyslexic. Dyslexic Richard Branson has 360 companies and 2.8 billion dollars. With determination and creative ideas, many dyslexics become successful entrepreneurs. Dyslexics are often creative. Kira Knightley, world-famous actress. Benjamin Zephaniah, poet, novelist, and playwright. Not all dyslexics are hyper-talented geniuses. Many are just ordinary people. Being dyslexic means school is likely to be one of the hardest times of your life. But many dyslexics do well when they leave school because they can do what they are good at. You will have to work harder than others while you're at school. That will mean extra lessons, but taught in a way you learn. Oh, not extra lessons. Tom does have extra lessons, but he plays games and learns quickly, so it doesn't seem so bad. This is a lot more fun than Mr. Teaswell's lessons. Mr. Teaswell apologizes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I called you lazy. Here's a huge box of chocolates. I promise not to make you read aloud, to not expect you to write as much, and to give you a printout of homework questions that I've made sure you understand. Things will get better from now on.